गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मुगल कोर्ट एंड इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ओके सो वी नो लास्ट वीडियो टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट सिक्स मुगल रूलर सो टूडे वी विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट हाउ डिड दो रूलर रूल वॉट वॉज द टाइप ऑफ कोर्ट ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम एंड वॉट टाइप ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन वॉज बिन फॉलो ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम क्लियर सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द मुगल कोर्ट एंड इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन टूडे ओके सो नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट नाउ द मुगल कोर्ट लाइक अदर कोर्ट व यू हैव स्टडीड इन दिल्ली सल्तन एट दैट द कोर्ट वॉज वेरी सेरेमोनियल राइट दैट द किंग द एम्पायर यूज टू सिट ऑन द थ्रोन एंड द पीपल who were at the higher position they used to stand near by the king or they used to sit near by the king clear and based on the hierarchy of the power of the position the people used to sit in the court right so this so that the court was very ceremonial now in the delhi sultanate only we have uh, studied about the sizda and paibos right you know which was been performed at the court in front of the king isn't it so you all know about sizda and pai paibos now in this mughal court apart from sizda and paibos there was kurnis and taslim clear now what is kurnis it means putting the right hand on your forehead and bending down towards in front of the king clear now other one that is taslim it means that my right hand will go down and again it will rise up clear so this was the thing used to be done in the mughal court now there were four things were be done in the mughal court that was sizda paibos karnish and taslim clear now other was diwani e khas and diwani e am now there were two hall made at the time of mughal emperor one was diwani e khas and second one was diwani e am now you will get the answer in the heading only clear right uh, diwani e khas by the word khas it means special and diwani e am it means general clear now diwani e khas was for the private audience now what do i mean here is by the private audience now we discuss about the court about the people isn't it now they have to give report to the king clear so there are different department in the court so they have to give daily update to the king that is there was revenue department military department clear so they have to update uh, that is they have to give update to the king that what is happening in the kingdom so the head of all the department used to meet king in diwani e khas and they gave update about the things happening around in the kingdom clear now i am common people right i am having some problem i want to talk to the king so i will come to diwani e am and i will put forward my problem before the ruler clear so now this is diwani e am clear now how was the court during the 17th century that is the court was divided into two part that was liberal and orthodox by liberal it means uh, religious tolerant and was having open point of view we have jahangir and sahaja they were liberal ruler and tolerance towards other religions they were giving respect to all the religions clear no other one was the orthodox group they were dominant uh, ruler and like uh, aurangzeb clear they were orthodox clear now next we have the administration okay now administration was divided into four part that was central administration provincial revenue and army clear now when we talk about administration we have centralized monarchy which means ruler used to enjoy absolute power clear now the first administration is our central administration as 
king was the supreme head who look both the civil and military administration and the king used to be assisted by many officer here and the officer who were assisting the king let's see who were those officer clear the first one was the wazir who was the prime minister second the diwan who was the head of the revenue department that means he was the in charge of the revenue department other one the mir bakshi who looked after the, all the military affairs after that the khani saman who attended to the needs of the royal household means whatever need was in the royal household he used to fulfill clear other one sadari sadur who used to keep a record of grant and donation made by the king now suppose the king is giving a donation to some temple how much donation was been given to that temple how much grant was been given to that particular person all the record he used to keep clear, clear? now the last one was the kaji who was the chief justice clear now next is our provisional administration now we will see the empire was divided into province called subha and this subha was headed by a governor called subeda clear and this subeda served as a link between the provinces and the ruler clear now this subha was divided into sarkar or district and each sarkar were divided into many parganas and these parganas consist of many village clear now we have the court wall who was there okay now this court wall used to look after town administration he used to perform both the police and civil duties he what he used to do he used to catch the criminal maintain law and order in the administration clear and he used to maintain a list of people living in this particular area and used to keep a check on weight and measure and his office was called kotwali clear about the provisional administration next we will move on to the revenue administration now it's looked that is revenue administration used to look after the revenue and there were two main source of revenue what were those first one was the land second one was the trade clear now so different measure was been taken by the king in both the sector that is in the land and in the trade how to gain maximum revenue in terms of land and in terms of trade clear now in terms of land revenue many reform was been introduced in the system uh, so that they can know how they have to calculate the tax how they can uh, earn more revenue clear for this there was a new system known as todal mal bandobast clear and it was been introduced by raja todal mal clear earlier land used to be measured with a rope clear now when we are measuring it with a rope there was a problem what was that sometimes the rope used to shrink when it was dry clear it used to become small little bit and sometimes it used to be stretch when it was wet when the rope was wet when we stretch it more it stretch more clear hence the measurement used to change that means it were we are not getting the accurate measurement of the land okay now todal mal has introduced a new measuring device with the help of the uh, this device it was become possible to get the accurate measurement of the land how that device was of a rod made of a bamboo reed clear joined together by iron ring clear with this help now land could be measured very accurately clear now after measurement land was uh, used to be divided into three category what were those good average and bad clear and the revenue was fixed according to the fertility of the land okay 
now in 1580 a system called uh, the dashala was been introduced and now what is dashala under this the average produce and the average price over the last 10 years were been calculated clear after calculating all those the tax to be paid for the year that is running year was been fixed on the basis of this average clear now next is our army administration now under army administration mughal introduced mansabdari system and the term mansab means rank or position clear and this system was been introduced by akbar now this mansabdar was divided into two rank what was those first one was jat second one was sawar clear now jat means how many soldier were there under this mansabdar rank clear now second rank was the sawar it means how many horse he has to maintain clear so under the mansabdari system a mansabdar had to maintain a certain number of troops and horses depending upon his rank clear now the salary of the mansabdar was given in cash which was given in the form of jagir clear now jagir was not hereditary okay if he died then the jagir was to be given back to the king clear so this is all about the army administration i hope you have understood the administration regarding the central provinces revenue army clear now next we will move on to agriculture okay which is our last part of this chapter now agriculture as you know was the uh, main source of revenue isn't it and the revenue obtained from it what the king used to do the king used to maintain large army the huge administrative uh, apparatus he used to maintain and for the upkeep of the king's novel and jagirdars for giving the salary he used to use the revenue collected from the land clear now the ruler they have tried to increase the productivity of the land now for that what the ruler they did loan was been given to the peasant clear to buy more uh, agriculture tools better seed so that there will be an increase in the production now the ruler has also encouraged the peasant to bring more land under cultivation so for this the king what he did he has extended the peasant from paying taxes clear so king did uh, all this to encourage the agriculture and most peasant uh used to pay one third of the total produce as revenue to the emperor and uh, later it was been decreased to one half clear so in times of uh, natural calamities also we could see that they do not that the peasant do not have to pay any taxes clear so children we have completed our chapter that is the great mughal i hope it has been understood to you all so must go through your text if any confusion you could ask me thank you